Jesus as the star. For sulfur, now remember sulfur is in the same family as oxygen. Look what we came up with. The number of bonds for this is going to turn out to be the Star of David. So what were the bonds on sulfur, do you remember? Being like oxygen, it could be H2 like H2O, H2S, and then we start adding the oxygens. So with six bonds on here, this is what we're stressing here. One, two, three, four, five, six points. So each point is gonna be a bond. So in this case, what it would be, I'm just gonna wear this marker out here. Now, we'd be tempted to put it over there, but what we got to remember is there's electron pairs that are playing games here and pushing and repulsing in that. So H2S, it's going to be... I'd like to put it over there, but we got to keep these pairs together, okay? So this is going to be H2S. Hydrogen sulfide. Now, they don't call it this, but they ought to. Really, it's dihydrogen, right? Dihydrogen oxide is what water is, but here it's sulfur. So instead of oxide, we'll call it sulfide. Dihydrogen sulfide. Put the L in there. I know I mix capital and lowercase. That irks some people. Okay, so this is beautiful. See the way that this bonds here? Two bonds. So you'd be drawing little aliens out here, right? Lone pair, lone pair. Those are electrons. I don't want to mix the point up here. So this is our new star. We're calling it the sulfur star. Star. And this really will look nice on the table of shapes because it's next to phosphorus with the phosphorus star, right? So, should we color that in more? Should pretty much just have e yellow all over, right? Because sulfur is yellow, if you ever find it out in the environment. So that's our sulfur star. We're going to do now to show the oxygen series of sulfur. So sulfur is a big atom. We could probably do this in pencil for beginners, but I shouldn't be doing this that big because we're going to have oxygens coming in there, so i got to save some room for the oxygens, right? So when we're doing these, green is oxygen, do the oxygens first. Remember how we were getting confused last time? So anytime you add an oxygen, the first one is almost always going to be a double bond here. So let's do H2SO4. How about that? Huh? This will be sulfuric acid. So the formula will be sulfuric acid. Now you can determine the stability and state of a country by its sulfur, sulfuric acid production. Now I used to think that would be an indicator of industry. You know, oh, they're making car batteries, right? Because sulfuric acid is really big in car batteries. It's fertilizers. A country that's making a lot of fertilizer is growing a lot of food, which means they're eating, which means they're doing okay, right? 
Well, sulfuric acid, let's see how, these are all recycled materials, kids. I want you to know from the paper to the markers, all this was found in the dumpster, most of it behind a church. So sulfuric acid is known as H2SO4. Some people know a lot of, what do you call them, little limerick things. There was someone that drank H2SO4. They were so proud of memorizing that thing, and I don't even know it. So H2SO4, four oxygens. Well, there's only six bonds on this, right? So we've got one, two, three, four, because these are double bonds on there. So these are going to have to be single bonds. Well, we got two H's, so watch what that's going to do for us. Here's all our other recycled markers. Is there anything left on these? A little bit there. Not much, but it's free. So now we need crayons. got these cases from the church <laughs> full of crayons. You see this, kids? Even the crayons are recycled. So we've got green, and there's probably a yellow somewhere. There's a yellow hiding in the back. But the nitrogen's blue. So remember when we were coloring these in? Just be quiet while the songs on. H2SO4. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I know it's great. I know it's brilliant. Thank you. Thank God. Can't do enough of it. So what's another one we got here? How about SO3? How could we do SO3? Double bonds, right? Well, look, six bonds. One, two, three. These are the gases, remember? SO3, these are ones that get up into the atmosphere combined with water Make sulfuric acid, acid rain, right? This is great, too, because people throw out highlighters. Well, when the tips of the highlighters get all worn out, we can still use it to color in the sulfur. Usually these things last forever, too, so here's. Isn't it great you can count the number of bonds even, too? 